Yo, Smalls, turn up for me, bruh. Hey girls, we are back live the Banshee Basement Ooh. part two. Uh huh. Him, Tim, Tim. Hale. Uh -huh. What's good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. here as hey. always. I'm always here in spirit. Though, hey, you know? uh huh. Oh, hey. You look so good in New York. Thanks. Oh my god. I no shade. New it's York like, puss. I am like 80% sure I'm going to move here. That last 20% is like... It always gives child. that. <laughs> these these thighs have been moving through the city. She has <laughs> thighs. Ah. She, is she got an ass, y'all. I just want to let y'all know. Uh -huh. Just from the last day I was here. Walking. She popped out. <laughs> I love Baby. it. Yes. Pop on out. Come on. Come on okay. now. I'm going to get a fat transfer. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. It's too many. Uh. Uh, okay. Surgery. Too many. Too many mm -mm. Oh, we could do that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Did you just start some shit, Tim Hell? I, we may have to pull that out. Oh, right? so, talk to me nice. I love. I love to start with Aaron just because yes. he gives me my kiki. What's good? Girl, uh -huh. I'm chill, chilling, man. I'm my life like it's golden. Okay, like, I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> um, you know, just doing the school shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to eat better, but you know, I'm not really doing that great. And you know whatever, I love it. That's um, it. question. What? Uh, any cute people in your class? <laughs> okay, they're Ooh. all kids, man. But they, girl, they, they're, they're, no, you're a liar. You're a liar, girl. There's this one. There's this one motherfucker, uh -huh. right? Motherfucker. He has a he has a little the stud mm. piercing in his in his nose okay. and his in his nostril, mm -hmm. and you know he's like really hairy. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, I that's what you like. Come on out. Like Wolverine. The girls oh, yes. It, that, fa oh, yes. that face you just made. She loves the lumberjack tea. Well, give me that. Call me I up. You know love man. a flannel. Oh, Hair ball. Uh, um, oh, no. Anywhere. To each his own, babe. Girl. Forest. Anyway, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you just imagine other than that. Shoes. Other than that kid in my, um, in my mythology class, no. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh. When can I expect you on some shows? I'm ready to come to a play. Thank, listen, same. Like, say that again. Emily. I hate to have to put you on the spot <laughs> um, like that, girl. Say but that again. Thanks, girl. As I'm soon as well, the only reason why I haven't been, um, I've, I haven't been in. Well, that's not the reason why. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. Thank girl. Excuse me, first of all, no one's reading him out. We just want him to get Listen. your ass out there. Yeah. Yeah. I just want the best. I mean, That's all. Here's what I need. What I you need? need. All <laughs> to leave me Don't even get me. No, you want to leave me alone. We want you to pursue your dream. I want to be somewhere with the poster in my hand. You, you, and you to leave me alone. I'm going to still push your ass. I'm the nicest one. The second thing I need is to just hold tight. It's coming. I have my poster ready. Okay. Team Eric. Well, wait a minute. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing that uh-uh no Never shame mind. i love it it's coming okay hey trey baby hola what's good tell um, me something good <laughs> girl what the girls live in washington heights my, <laughs> you Ooh. can't take my spanish mommy bitch what's right. good girl. i'm good how are you uh, i'm all right um what have i been doing uh nothing bitch i've been in the damn house all day okay um, but no, I do have a crush on this little boy, and well, I'm little not gonna boy. say little boy, Child, young oh, man. Okay. This <laughs> man, young man, not even little. He's a man, this sir, in class, right? But I can't say mm -hmm. too much because I don't know if he's listening or like if somebody will throw. You, I ain't got time for those dramas and shenanigans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially because of him. Um, girl. What, bitch? What you got girl, to say? I ain't got nothing. Say to it say. with your chest, hold. I know I ain't got nothing to say, babe. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say. Okay, the then. Ain't on me yet. Yes, it, it's my turn over Spotlight here. Ain't What's on me yet. On? Okay. Um, but I've been good. I've been like, I've been back to meditating again. 
it's keeping me very zen and forgiving and patient, mm. which I feel like I've been needing the last few months. Um, and then that's it. That's cute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> It's, it's your turn, turn now, bitch. Yeah. bitch. While I'm always shining out in this motherfucker. Hey, um, Stevie. Hey, um, so I'm basically just been living my best life. Okay. Um, I ain't going back and forth with you niggas. Okay. Um, Me all you niggas that have been in my face and playing in my face. Fuck y'all. Um, Jesus. I just been, you know, trying to zen myself the fuck out. I saw you was in this. You back in the gym again? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying hey, to get bro. this body back where body, the fuck it was. Body. Before. body. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Just. Zending myself out and fuck these niggas. OMG. Who um, broke your heart today? <laughs> oh, nobody broke my heart today. <laughs> the heart is repaired. <laughs> Love I'm y'all. I'm just asking. Anywho, um, I ain't been up to shit. Um, one thing that I am excited that I've been doing is getting back to reading. I've been reading a lot. Personal reading, leisure reading, reading for fun and at school. It's been a pleasure. Um, I feel really bad because there's like maybe about three... Um, queer men of color have come out with a book within like the last two or three months and i feel really bad because i'm so behind on reading but i've been trying to support everyone mm. um there's uh, another book out uh by a, a nigerian guy um he's gay and um i've been wanting to read it so yeah that's that um we're back again yeah what's She's here what's good come on uh, out Hey, you hey. Know, just yeah. out exploring, living this New York life. Yes. You know, trying to keep up with y'all. Uh, it's fast it's paced, cute. ain't it, bitch? No, it's and it's so funny how all the New York girls go to D.C. and all the D.C. The girls are trying to come up here. Like, girl, girl what is it? <laughs> you know, sometimes you need a break. I love love, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And New no, York's the break and it's no, not. No. <laughs> it really isn't. Oh, my God. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into the breakdown real the fast. Breakdown. Real quick. This is a good question. Um, so y'all know all of those good 80s, 90s black sitcoms that we watched as a child, yep. all of the reruns. Who, what character would you want to be? Like, who would you want to live? Who would you want to be? <laughs> Whose life is cunt? Am I first? Mm-hmm. Look, oh, you the guest. Come right, on out. She'll go first. Um, I would say Maxine from Living Single. Come on Bitch. now. <laughs> Maxine hey, Shaw, Maxine, Attorney at Law. Uh-huh. Um, my I love reasons it. are because sis was on her own. She was doing it. She had this job. She was hustling. She was dealing with drama on her side life. But because like she had a good support system, so she always came around with her friends and ate their food. And you and know, she was being G. She was a humor. She was, she was a personality. Like I love she's it. me. She's Tim Hill. I'm Maxine. Come on out. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna go. Look, we're gonna go. Um, you know, I was thinking about this, and then I was a little more honest <laughs> with myself, and I decided that I would probably be Moesha. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Yeah, like, I knew this, oh, bitch. I knew oh, I ain't like you, bitch. God. <laughs> At least you're honest, bitch. Come on, let's so, outside and get these motherfucking hands, here's, Moesha, here's, bitch. Here's Bye. Not Moesha. I, okay, Mo so to the the east of the bitch. I need to like. Uh, down. I need the Moesha the... theme while you talking to this. So I'm <laughs> right, the, what she writing in her diary. What she writing in her diary. Yeah, oh, so God. check it out. <laughs> it's just, you know, Moesha was a mess. Like, hot. A hot ass mess. She had a terrible friend and a terrible girlfriend. Like, she didn't do anything correctly. And thought she was the team. And she right. thought, and <laughs> right in that fucking journal, was, bitch. It, it, Right, it Mo. wasn't what nothing anywhere near Ain't close. Shit. But uh-uh. A whole show about her. Oh, is this a self drag? Yeah. No, yeah, and for like <laughs> damn. But at the same time, give me my flower because I have a show about me. Come on oh. out. So that's but what bitch, I think I you be. was terrible. I, I literally am terrible. Uh, the we, show was about how terrible you was and how you thought you was the shit. Now, she ain't really Moesha, Welcome but go life. ahead. I love it. Okay. <laughs> a show about me, bitch. Like, Woo. what's up? Hey, Mo. Um, Stevie. Well, bitch, she stole mine. Oh, um, oh yeah. yeah. Wait, you was going to be Moesha, too. You I was... could never be Glam. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, giving you a lot yeah, I'm going to need y'all to pipe the fuck down before I pipe the fuck up. Um, Girl. I would be fucking Hillary Banks. Uh, okay. I can Ooh. say it. Okay, I would be Hillary <laughs> Come Banks. Come on. Come on. The, you know, the Princess of Bel Air, bitch. Okay. I would be her. I thought um Hillary was very, very fabulous and over the top and she just did whatever the fuck she wanted to do and still like steal the scene and when she was in the scene yeah. she so was a key for real. she was yeah she was a key on the low um but yeah i'll be hillary banks from fresh prison Bel-Air. i love it coming out trey oh girl um 
Um, now this is your realm. You should be on top of this, babe. Excuse me. <laughs> this is your realm. You should be on top of this. Drink your water, baby. Drink your water, okay? Um, I have no goddamn idea. Girl, um, the girls want to be so youthful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bitch, I am don't youthful. Think. Check the the birth certificate okay, and the on, date. Bitch. Jesus. Um, now I guess I would say I was saying it earlier. Whitley Gilbert. I love Whitney. I love Whitney. Yes. And I see that for myself. I just don't want to, I don't agree with the leaving that man at the altar. But that was my favorite episode. She was in love. So I'm going to allow her to have that. Or the time she got her, they furniture stolen. I'm still very upset. But yeah, Whitley Gilbert. That's it. Um,. uh... This is my bitch. Oh, my God. I love her. Oh, God. So, she's like, I always envision myself as being, like, literally in the middle of being classy and banji. And I think she is the epitome of such. I feel like I'm on a gag, Malik. I <laughs> but I would be Gina Waters oh, <laughs> from Martin. Oh, <laughs> I think she is so fucking funny and hilarious. <laughs> And yeah, like Gina was that shit, and you know she's uh, friends with Pam, and Pam was a and bomb she dealt with bitch. Martin, bitch. Pam was a loyal, yes. And bitch. then like Martin is uh, Martin is hilarious. So yeah, that's who I would be. Oh, that was cute. Some okay. good choices. Yes, I'm here for him. Nobody Everybody wanted to be a man. Picked fish. <laughs> <laughs> picked um, fish. Nobody wanted to be a man. We all we all know what it's it a is. A room full of ladies. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't mm-hmm. faking the funk for nobody. I, can't. I don't even know if there, there is. I one. can't. Yeah. So, girl, when's when's the last time you had an old Let's... evil slay session? Ooh, girl. <laughs> this bitch is shaking the questions. table, girl. Who Do you that? feel comfortable answering that? Oh, I have no problem. Oh, okay. Come on out. I just wanted to make sure um, I ain't make it too hot. <laughs> mm, I ain't make it too hot. Jesus, mm, it's been a while. No shade. Like it has been a minute, but I think that's because of how I put my sexual activities mm. i wasn't i was looking for the wrong things in it so i had to stop for it i had to like take a break for it and it actually kind of helped my craft like it helped me get focus on myself more yeah um but she is in need so <laughs> she will be returning oh your, D- oh, your dms <laughs> open <laughs> right. come on out Somebody right <laughs> but um uh, mama is in need like, <laughs> queen of the damn uh-huh. okay Ooh, Jesus. I, it may have been like early like february march to be honest wow. so, okay girl, that's nothing oh yeah uh-huh. Yeah, it's a cute Akasha tea. Yeah. yeah. The summer was cute, but... You oh, played but... in the street? Did you, I about to, did you play in the she street? Did, you know, play around? She or didn't splash in no puddles this uh, <laughs> Yo. I can't. Not splashing puddles. I ain't playing with you, Tim. I'm so... So what does a healthy sex life look like for you? I'm, I'm being... Um, come on out. I'm gonna be... I put you on the spot. No, so. I don't mind. I don't mind. I just wasn't prepared. For but, you. Um, and, I, and I think, like, I think people, like, what does a healthy sex life for you look like? And I don't want you to base your answer off of what any, anybody else has oh for me you. personally yeah. like just like <clears throat> how often or how often you know position oh, whatever girl, like, we're I want the down, whole down, this down. is breaking it Give all the way down the sexual oh, I want to go around the room or, I, like I haven't been in a relationship in a while, in a while but mm. I would say like a good three times a week is probably good okay mm. that's decent um, when, that's and decent. I say that when it comes to like penetration wise you mm. know the girls can uh, do a sucky sucky here or there every that could be a Come on out. Times, but when it comes to penetration, I, I like say good three times a week. I like oh my god! Um, you know, not necessarily like. Now I wouldn't say my sex definitely isn't vanilla, but you know, I you know I'm here for the freaky stuff on occasion, but it doesn't have to be every time. Like. I don't know why I feel like it should just be special occasions, but you know, maybe every Saturday night we can just, you know, role play a little bit. Every Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, but Saturday is every time we do something, it doesn't have to give like kinky Tommy up. Yeah. You, know? you ain't got a sex <laughs> no, dungeon. I, man, no. So yeah. what is what is look, it, you seem eager to answer <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. There goes lips was on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Playing in these motherfucking streets. Mm-hmm. No, so the only part I disagree with was um, it don't have to be like that way every time. So I don't need, honestly, like as as sexually open as in sex as I am, I don't need it as often. So yeah. it's like you said three. I was like two to three. We we're, we're fine. Be like two to three a week. Um, but I'm I'm nasty. So like, <laughs> come on out. Jesus. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying Speak to be here, but like, I'm not. <laughs> it's hot, <laughs> baby. Like you know, Tim just mentioned like I'm the furthest from I I'm nasty. So like every single time, it has to be nasty like that. Yeah. Come on now. Spitting my eyeball. Otherwise, Tim. otherwise it's gonna be more. And like you said, that involves penetration. Other stuff, all the time, forever. 
Uh, okay. You like, know, in the morning, when you the game, right. you cook breakfast. Breakfast, right. breakfast you know in bed. Right. Breakfast Come on in bed. out. Bed, bre- bed and breakfast. The bed and Uber. breakfast. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, so... The only that's the only part I disagree with that. It's I'm I need I need my nasty appeased every time. But mm, that's a lot. Are so. you into multiple like partners? Ooh, or, child, or? we're going down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, recently because I am very selfish, I would say no. Um, right. younger Tim Hale, child, child Carrie. You know she did what she needed to do. <laughs> Carrie <laughs> to get what she needed she to be. So uh-huh. you know, she knows she's experienced. I'll say that. Come but on now. Out. Um, because I'm selfish, I probably could not do it in a relationship capacity. Yeah. Um, probably not. But you know, hey, mm-hmm. if the girls come a knocking. So what does the uh, Stevie? I want. I'm going. Oh back my god! To, really? <laughs> um, going back to the the sexual. The, um, what is the uh, what is your sexual relationship? A healthy sexual relationship for you look like? Um, yeah. I'm. I think I'm a little selfish now too, because I think younger, like like Tim said, younger me. <laughs> Whoo! She was a hot motherfucking mess, but she was playing in these motherfucking streets at mm-hmm. a very, very young age. Um, but as of now, I just want like maybe two to three days a week of sex. That would be bomb. Or if I'm ever sad, or if I if I'm ever feeling the type of way, even if I'm angry, like if I have a nasty ass attitude with you, <laughs> very much like stick your dick in my mouth, like very like if, baby. That's the way to shut a bitch up. It's no shame. Like that's how you shut a bitch up. Like if I'm doing too much with my mouth, I've always said either cut his mic, no, keep my mic the fuck on. Um, yeah, it's no shame. Like if you're gonna if 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 I'm running my mouth too much or I have a nasty ass attitude for the day, baby, you know what to do. Put a dick in your mouth. Good sex. We said with this is. Relationship, right? It came out the closet. Ain't no shade. The girls are talking about they freaky tiki. Thank here you, baby, because all the girls said they were freaky tiki. But when I say stick a dick in my mouth, I'm the wrong one. I think it's time for me to go. Came the channel. No, my ex came out the motherfucking I door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about the person that's in a relationship. What's a healthy sex? Relationship for you, babe. Um. Y'all, like y'all girls, know what it is. Uh huh. That's what I said. Well, I want to say. Without <laughs> with look right, with I want to say that there's so many teas <laughs> that I can't say and I want to say, but Girl. no, we just recently started getting in our like your pattern. tea, our mood, and mm-hmm. our our swing. And I texted him the other day and I was saying, oh, I want to have sex more, but I mean, we don't live together, so us seeing each other is based off of us both being free um mm-hmm. and like right now our schedules have been so conflict like it they've been like at each other because he works and i'm in school and whatever whatever but i would say honestly anywhere between <laughs> five to seven times a week <laughs> <laughs> now y'all was talking about me with the thing on my mouth this bitch won't See, have sex my thing is is it's so crazy because i what? I have a high sex drive, and Child. I dr- I drink Come on off out. a lot. My legs, okay. I really so do. Well, the girls, uh, <laughs> it give what it give. It's no shame. And like my, I know we was going here. My masturbation pattern. Well, we gotta shake the table. We gotta shake the table sometimes. It's no shame. Okay. Go ahead. I masturbate a lot, but I also <laughs> look. <laughs> I do. I do. And and I'm sexually active as well. So it's just like so crazy. But um. I don't know. Like I, I'm really happy with our sex. It. I can't believe I'm talking. Girl, about you having it five okay. and seven times? Oh my god! Oh, I'm you better be happy. happy. No, I know. I'm saying no. I would like to have sex five to seven times a week, but on average, it probably happens three to five times a week. Mm. Um, Child. relationship goals. I'm very much of oral. Uh, um, listen. Oral only. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm more lonely. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I've just, the older I get, the less I get away, like I get away from penetration. Um, Don't get me wrong though. Sometimes mama needs a session. And when I need my session, I need my session. Absolutely. Um, But I don't know. Like, I feel like all, I feel like all of the tops are in relationships with tops. Listen, mm. didn't somebody tweet that? Like, I really feel like no, that. No, it, it does give that. Like, it's very, <laughs> like, it does give that recently, from my knowledge. Yeah. From just from what I observe, observe from the outside. So it's like you have someone <laughs> who's like, you know, like 100% top, and then you have someone who just doesn't want to bottom. And yes. I think that's like where I am with it now. Like, it's just like, uh, I lift my leg up sometimes, but <laughs> girl, I'm. I'm kind of getting tired. Like <laughs> the, girls, the girls are in or, or, or only. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll you know bas- bounce back into being a bottom again sometime. But yeah, I don't know. Hey, um, pussy cat. 
Girl. And she playing with something <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> yes, hey, pussy cat. Hello, <laughs> girl. Um, what's your thing giving? If y'all know I'm the private bitch, I don't want to say all of this. Girl, she girl, went, child, the girl the said, I'm not even gonna let that girl. shit go. Girl, you in a room full of very vocal people. I think it's time for you to let a little oh, secret shut up. out the secret garden, Miss Thing. Hello, um, cow. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, here's this. You ain't smashing no cakes five, seven times a week. That is too much. People got work to do. Child. Like, they there's, got work to- like, there's other things we can be doing. Okay, but uh, like two to three times is yeah. good. I'm down for that. But I suck a dick every day. No, I don't have a problem with that. And multiple times a day. But like, I, it's I like, I, I, you know, I should get a dick in my like, mouth. Though. I think, it, it, I think uh, a healthy relationship is like, pull it out. You get it like three times a week penetration, and then you get like, I suck your dick like. Two, three times I, I do, a day. I can see the foreplay every night. You know, I do yeah. love to suck a dick. Mm-hmm. I do. No, I, wait a minute. I can't do a foreplay Hold every night. Hold on. Now, I didn't I just get a... reprimanded for sucking a dick? Because, bitch, you said if no, I was bitch, aggressive, everybody's put a dick in my mouth. You said when I'm mad, girl, yeah. shove your what dick in my mouth. It is what it is. When that sounded like a whole lyric to a rap song, to a female rap. rap is on top of the fucking charts, babe. put a dick in my mouth. It is what it is. Suck a dick. Jesus. When I'm asleep, put a dick in my mouth. I mean, with consent. With consent. No. No putting no dick in my mouth. I'm one of them bombs to drop after what you said. I'm sorry, I suck a dick want- later. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> right. Don't, ca- don't fuck up Leave my alone. knees. Like, fuck. Mm. I have a key yet. Everybody's sucking dick. Wait. Are we just going with the flow? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a question. What's okay, up? Bitch. How do the girls feel about cohabitation in a relationship? Oh. Like, stay in Do you, like, will you, like, before you guys get married? Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you believe definitely. in living together mm. before? Me, personally, I say <laughs> yes, because... You can live mm. with someone to your side that you have never mm-hmm. seen before. But a lot of gays <laughs> are actually against it because they're like, they just like their space. So they'll get married and move mm-hmm. in when they're married. Mm-hmm. So I just want to know how everyone feels about that. Come on, Tim Hal. I need my space. <laughs> no shade. Here's the thing. I would love to live with somebody that, you know, I'm dating or that, you know, whatever. If, you know, gets to a level, I don't have to be married to live with you. But... We have to be at some point in our careers or like, you know, whatever, because it's like I want to have my own within the place we live. I want to have my own space because it's very it's important to me that I have like, you know, what I'm saying like I love you. I want to spend my life with you, you know, whatever. But I still need time to be me away from you. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm not if I'm not that a lot of that time, then it'll start it'll cause problems with the two of us. So. I'm down for it, but it's like we gotta have like a house with like I gotta have my own. I mean, I don't want you to have one too. You know what I'm saying? Like I want you to <laughs> wow. have a you know whatever for you. But I need I need I need a study that only I have access to. Okay. What you gonna be doing in your study? One study. What you gonna be now, doing? Just stop. The girls know that I love to read a book. Need you know what I'm saying? Okay. I need I need me a desk and a love seat. You know what I'm saying? And a computer. computer. Fuck y'all. How about y'all all go just live y'all lives? Meet me at the but study. yeah. No so. I need my space, um, but I would I would love to live with somebody that I was dating. Um, I feel like me and my me and my boyfriend we're like at that point now where we're like talking about moving in together, um, and it's always looked like I will be keeping my apartment. Like we would, I I would never, and I don't care if we're married, whatever. I would always need to have like my own. Anything. Yes, in your name. Um, <laughs> and then we can definitely have something separate where I like live at full time, but I like always need my own go to to come back to, you know. Um, <clears throat> and that's just how I seem like me being in a long term relationship and even marriage. Like I have to have my own space, and I don't know. Like I've never lived with. I've never lived with a lover before or a partner. Um, I'm interested to see how it goes because, like, <laughs> I'm a good roommate, but, like, you know. It takes to a new level. When yeah, you like, that's a totally different thing, you know. Um, and I don't know, like, th- I'm, I'm interested to see because I'm also, like, someone who likes to, like, party a lot and I like mm-hmm. to stay home. I stay out at all hours of the yeah, night. You got a nigga at home, child. Right. And I feel like I feel like I would be obligated to come home at yes. a certain hour. So I don't know. You know me, bitch. I, I love to run no the streets. No I love to run the streets. Look, I love, <laughs> I love to run the streets. So it is what it is. But I don't know. I, I would need my own space. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> um, bitch, I'm a um I like to move in with my man. I don't know, but all this space needed. Mm. Now, I understand having time away from each other. Like, yes, 
being with somebody 24 7 365 is draining but the whole like i'm not gonna have like an extra study like if you want to have one like that's cute that's cool um i do have i feel like my problem would be like i would have to just give up some control in that situation just because i like things a certain way and I don't need no, like, I got to make sure, I got to live with the person I'm dating to make sure you're not leaving dishes in the sink, you're not, <laughs> when, like, at the end of the night, like, everybody going to bed and there's dishes in the sink, like, I hate that, like, you ain't going to do that. Girl, what? Um, not in my house. Not in my house, what? you're not picking up certain stuff, you leaving plates all the, like, we not going to do that. Mm. So I have to, I feel like that's needed because if you don't, you sleep, you marry somebody, then you start living together, and they leaving dishes in the sink, or like trying to use the bathroom while you in there. Like, there's gonna be some issues, <laughs> and that's a quick way to do it. That's how people divorce in two to three weeks and months. Oh, I, I ain't got time for that. We are you, are you cohabitating? No, I need my separate <laughs> space. It's no shade. It's some days I. D- it's no shade. I just know. It's just certain days I just need my space, and and I have my own mental shit going on. I just be like, listen, no disrespect, and in space isn't just you going away for the day. I need you away for a little while if I'm going through something. But then again, if you can help me, you can stay. Just but it's okay days. to be in our separate way, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I just need someone to help me with these bills. <laughs> there we go. Now, we talking so, about bills. Come on, pay my bills. We can definitely get a two-bedroom, but, but it's just us. But mm-mm. I need someone to help me with these bills. So if you want to go half on it. Even electricity. Water, Same. You know, that's cute. Utilities. I, I, I tweeted, it's cold in New York. Oh. You need somebody to pay that heat. No, <laughs> I shade. tweeted the other day that New York is definitely like a couple city. Oh. Um, sure. As far as finances, mm. girl, go ahead and get that cute one bedroom studio or a studio one bedroom, honey. I can see Let that. her down the middle, girl. You'll mm-hmm. be living a fab life in New York. No shade. Exactly. Very sweet. Come on out. Very cute. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, hmm. We uh-huh. taking a break because you humming and <laughs> hee hawing and whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, like always, break. take a break, bitch. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, yo, Smalls, turn up on the Hey babies, it's Aaron and you're listening to him. Make sure to follow us all on Twitter because you know we love having followers and we're just as foolish there as we are here. Malik is Cosmic Cocaine underscore. Me, I'm Life Through Glasses, Life T H R U Glasses. Trey is Trey X Parker and Stevie is Stevie So Fetch underscore. Check us out. All right, girls, we are back. Cute little break. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, Rosa, I love What's this. Up? I love your shirt. Thanks. Can we talk about how stylish you always are? <laughs> I, Look. Listen, it's, it's not like this in D.C. Uh, <laughs> it's real sweatpants and okay. t-shirts in D.C. Okay. I had to come out here, you know. And give a cute, New York, a baby. cute step. Because you know these girls are staying some garments up here, bitch. <laughs> I had to give a cute step. I couldn't give the Adidas pants a t-shirt like I normally give. So. I, she tried to step out. I love it. So, what are you Thanks. studying at the new school? Um, I go to school for film production. Oh, you, yeah, you. I just wanted to. You told me that, but yes, I just media studies, to. concentration, and film production. Interesting. It is an experience. I actually, I mean, I work in. I'm a photojournalist for the military, yeah. so I kind of work in the field. Okay. Um, but it is totally different going to like a arty school like that. Like the cl- I'm taking a class right now. It's like um the intro to 50s, 1950s film, oh, and man. it's going down a rabbit hole in the first week that I didn't even know existed. So it's just like it's really really cool the discussion things people are like 
put in like full dissertations of like just a scene in the TV show. I'm like, child, I love Lucy was cute, but she wasn't. <laughs> I ain't know was giving all of that. The girls be breaking it down. Like it's just stuff that I learned that I really do enjoy. And so. that's why I love school. Like I'm yes. at a I'm at a love hate with school because I love like just like the learning processes, but I hate how structured school is. Like so mm. when it's time to turn an assignment, I'd be like, oh girl, mm. I ain't trying to Especially turn online classes. My God. But yeah, um. So, what were we gonna get into? <laughs> Look, what were we Girl, gonna it was into? Just, you had the question. I know. Um. So no. So this was tweeted a few weeks ago. Um. I don't really remember the follow who tweeted it, but they tweeted something along the lines of the <clears throat> the people that they're interested in are only are not interested in them. Um. And I feel like that there that's kind of like a big thing in the gay community, or something that we kind of all all have experienced possibly um and i wanted to center a discussion around that i thought it was sad a little bit it is sad yeah i do think that's slightly sad but i think some stuff comes with that mm. um i can speak from my own like personal side of it there was a moment like especially when i first moved back to the states where like i was like wow no one likes me for what i think i can offer but yeah. i think it's because i was being attracted to what everyone else was attracted to i was going after the light skin muscle gaze and it's like they um, they couldn't take. That's basically what it is. So I just had to find the confidence in myself. But also it was just like people have this perception of you. And then when they finally meet you, they gag sometimes. And I think that's what happened to me. And I realized that I need to stop going after that person. Not necessarily that I think I should go after, but I need to realize what I wanted. So the girls don't like light skin muscle gays no more. But um, I think it's different. Like it definitely was like um just coming meeting people people find out more feminine than they expect mm. or my style they just didn't expect it based off just you know the avi that's on twitter on. or stuff or just you know just figuring out what i actually wanted because what i thought i wanted wasn't it i wanted it for the aesthetic because it would be cute to be on a beach with a light skin muscle gang no but that's not that's not what i wanted because that's not necessarily offering me what i need and then, you know, everyone, and no shade, like, now that I have been exploring dating other people um, outside of that realm, which is billions of people outside mm -hmm. that realm, like, I have found myself happier with my dating experiences mm -hmm. and not basing it off of the aesthetics of the likes and all of that, which that's what pretty much it came down to, just being attracted to people that had a nice following, but that following didn't come with personality, did it? Mm -hmm. Didn't come with personality. Yeah, I feel like we always have conversations centered around, like, just... <clears throat> I always talk about how being lonely is such, it's so scary for me. Um, and it's like one of my biggest fears of just like not being able to be loved mm -hmm. um, by another like black man. Um, and I think that we all know people who look like we do don't necessarily, are not necessarily at the top of the food chain. Um, and the reason why like it lately, I've been really sad just because I, I have friends and I want to like, single people out or say any names but i just have friends that like may identify like as trans or like non-binary who necessarily are a, they're a part of the gay community but they don't necessarily look like us so like you know um they're they're the girls that get up in yes. <laughs> or whatnot whatnot and i just think about how difficult it is for like you know people like that to navigate the the gay community and then also just like dating you know how uh, difficult and challenging it is for them um and just going back to myself, I don't know. Like, I still battle. I'm 30 and I still battle with being, like, too feminine. And it's not something that I, like, think of, like, in great detail. Um, but it's still something that really, like, scares me just because, like, I know, you know, that whole no fats, no fems thing is still, like, prevalent in the gay community. And Definitely. a lot of people, it's been ingrained in into us. And so, like, people, like, really, really believe that and uphold that. And um, I just kind of, like, constantly f feel myself, like, battling, like, that stigma. And I don't know. It just it just really scares me. And it's something that I worry about dying along because... And I'm and I'm in a relationship now, but it still doesn't. <laughs> it still don't change my mind. Yeah, that yeah. still doesn't change my mind or change the world. Like you know what I'm saying. And I don't know. That's just kind of what I have to say about it now. So, yeah. Mr. High, <laughs> um, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I think I fooled. Um, for a long time, I had a fixation with the unattainable. And, um, Come on out. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> what is the unattainable? 
Well, it, it's like it's for like you. you know. For, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. Um, people who I guess w- would notice me otherwise, mm. um, like IG famous type, or, you know, whatever. Um, when I was younger, it was straight guys. You know. Ooh. Um, uh, and it's there, there's like that. It's like a in that like sickly sweet longing you have for that person, knowing that they'll never feel the same way. It's like there's like something in there that I liked because it's like I ceaselessly did it like for years, right. and um, it wasn't until I, I was like, okay, I need to like have an actual connection with a person that I started to move away from that, and it took me a while to like stop like doing it. Like I would be like find myself developing a crush and i'll be like no this is not what you know this is you're feeding into that bullshit um so i've been trying to focus more on what's in front of me but that does happen a lot but we just have to think about when we find that our preference doesn't prefer us what (laughs) does that say about us because it starts with our preference so what does it say so look look inward and try to figure out where that comes from and that was a word from Aaron. Okay. okay. Um, I don't got nothing to say with this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. No, Not all the mama. No, the girl. Right. The girls with the comments don't got nothing to say. Girl. Ooh. Um. Oh, and, and my aim was good too. I almost. I was so close. Um. No, I mean, I feel like that's something that everyone deals with. Um. I personally, like what you said, something about being scared of being alone. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that was something I dealt, deal with, but I'm starting to not care about that anymore. Um, I'm starting to kind of get away from the things that I said I've always wanted and know that if it's going to come, it's going to come. Um, People not, people that I like not liking me. Um, I just chalk that up to the game, honestly. Like, nah, not the game. The game. Yeah. Like, yo, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> but I feel like for me, like, I feel like if I like somebody, it's like always something off. Like, there's never someone that like is just perfect. Like, it's just never. And I feel like that's never going to happen. So now I'm reevaluating, like. What is it that you really want? And I think for me, it's less about appearance or anything. Um, I've now gotten to the point where it's about drive. It's about aspirations. It's about whether your ass is lazy or not. Whether you you got some type of, of force inside of you to do what you want to do. And it don't got to be the most fabulous thing ever. But like... You got to have that drive. So I have i haven't been always the most appearancey. I used to tell friends, I love a cute, ugly man. Like, <laughs> I love Yo. for you to be both. Like, you can be my everything. Be fine. Be fine. Um, <laughs> Lord. Okay, be you fine. bitches. But, um, yeah, that's it. Like, I don't have no... It's, it's the game. Whatever. Yeah. Do you think everybody is going to fall in love? I think Ooh, so. Yeah, do you think I, I think do so. Not. I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. Um, I think I do think there is someone for everyone. Everybody. But I think a lot of people battle with so much stuff yeah. that they may not find that. Um, I think they. I think a lot of people find love in other people before they find it in themselves. So, yeah. And so I think I was. That's why I would say no to that. I, I don't mean, know. I've been really trying to find out what love means to me because I, I think I had this conversation before I called my mom and I was like, "Girl, how did you know you were in love with my father?" Which, <laughs> and she was just um, like well she was just saying how like you know well your father was a good provider and this and that and like what i got from that was that you know she kind of equated love to like you know my my father providing being a good provider mm. and i don't really yeah. think that that's what love is for me and i don't want to misconstrue like what love is for me thinking like oh this is love and i'm in love with this person and i'm actually not you know Mm -hmm. um so i don't know like i'm really i don't know like do we ever know what love is like it it, does it have a feeling does it i don't it's i i can understand that because like i don't know how people know because like my mom she not to put your business out there Mm -hmm. mother but um (laughs) she got married twice so like she swore she was in love, love. the first time. Like uh-huh. she just knew she was in love the first right. time. Right. And then my dad also knew, just knew he was in love. It uh-huh. didn't work out. And now she 
has met the love of her life. But now I'm like, well, girl, what happened? Yeah, what's what's, what's up with this time? What happened? Like, how do you know this time is it? And I mean, unfortunately, I wouldn't say I've never been in love, but when I say I was in love, I was like, girl, 18, 19. So I don't think I was, but I do wonder what that feeling yeah. is like. Like, I just think about all of the people that I've been with, and I think certain mm-hmm. people cause certain diff- like emotions to come up. Mm-hmm. And I think there's sometimes you're you're in love with someone, and it's that, you know, knockout, drag out type feeling like, oh, this person kind of like shatters my world, mm-hmm. you know? Or then it's like someone who may not necessarily invoke like the same emotion or feeling, but like you just cannot draw yourself away from them, you know? So it's more like, I don't I don't know the right word to use, but yeah, it's more like some <laughs> type sort of feeling, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, sometimes I really sit back at love because I, I, I think we live in a time and age where we don't have to marry or we don't have to do certain things to take care of kids because <laughs> none of us have kids and we're uh-huh. all gay. <laughs> yes. So yeah, like we can really like shape and think what what love means to mm-hmm. us and what what love really is. So I don't know. So I guess it's the time for, for jam of the motherfucker week, right? Uh, oh, oh girl. Yeah. Now, bitches, we told. I ain't prepared, bitch. Hold on Here's now. The thing. No, There's a formula the to this to this here right here. The show, and if you one. come on the show, you need to be prepared to know that you I have a jam prepared. of the week. Oh, I know what I get. I maybe one. one or maybe two. I'm ready. I got one. Okay. I'm ready. Um, Stevie, what's your jam of the week? <laughs> oh wow, bitch! Everybody else is ah! everybody except for me. <laughs> but my jam of the week is uh, Mary J. Blige's "I Feel Good" yes, from me, the uh, I forget the name of the album, but. Mary J. Blige, I feel good. It's a really, really uplifting song. She tells you that she feels good. She does everything she needs to do. So yeah, that's my jam of the week. I feel good by Mary J. Blige. Woo. Oh, I forgot I had to call out yeah. names. Uh, <laughs> Aaron, what's your jam of the week? Yo, okay, so check it out. My jam of the week is Break You Off by The Roots featuring Music <gasps> that's Soul my Child. Song. A song. <laughs> um, shout out to Fonz, uh, Fonz Frank, who tweeted that uh, maybe like a week or two ago. Um, and I went and redownloaded it to my phone. I've been listening to it ever since. Um, it sounds so good and yeah. it's sexy. Um, mm-hmm. It makes me want to have sex to that song. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, so that's, that's my jam of the week. Check it out. Um, Tim, um, I saw a little Banji, you know, Gucci flip flops. Fuck it, hit your bitch in my socks. by bad baby, Gucci flip flops. You know, oh my goodness, that's Wait, my shit. God. The queen of rap, bad baby. I'm saying it now. Oh my god, oh, my god. Put mic. you on to my Cut friend Kerwin. He, he loves that girl. I love Cut that. his no, mic. She, she when I'm high, I love to hear her. I be tipping around like. <laughs> that is my oh. shit. I'm sorry. Cut, cut his mic. Cut, cut both their mics. Mm-hmm. Cut I them can't. both. <laughs> sorry. We're not doing this today. I'm cutting their mics. Can't take the queen no I'm cutting their mics. Y'all Tim, you're done for the but day. No Thank shade. you for she, your services. She was at um. She was at uh that um. What's the rhythm and blues? The um. BB whatever. BB King. King. Yeah. BB King. How dare they? And they bitch, let her she sold. She sold out, bitch. That's an artist. That's because she's a viral girl. Oh, y'all. She's only 15 at that. Get in. Is get in. Really? Get in. Yes. I'm, I'm ashamed of y'all. Y'all gonna be mad in 10 years. Wow. Malik, what's your jam of the week? Um. Oh shit, I forgot. Bitch, what the fuck? Hold on. You know what it gives. Hold on. I totally had a very fart. <laughs> you got five seconds. Um, what Four. was I gonna say? Oh, you're making me nervous now. Three. Oh no, I know what it was. Oh, it's Two. um, it's Take the Canyon by JoJo. Oh yeah, this is my song. JoJo. Yeah, I love um the Agape um mixed, mm-hmm. mixtape EP. Mm-hmm. Um, JoJo, it's one of she's a beautiful voice. Um, I really wish she was a lot more mainstream than what she is, but she always has these like you know back on the scene, off the scene. But oh, like, yeah. I love when she creates music. It's it's amazing. So yeah, take the canyon. Okay. Um, my jam of the week is by the Il Nana, mm. Foxy Brown. Oh yeah, that's my song. That's my mm. jam. Come on out. And <laughs> the unk. Let me say that while Come I can't out. dance and do like a a, a mean two step, like it's uh-uh. it's nice. Um, that song just makes me wanna like wind my hips. And throw it back. So that's my song in Jam of the Week. Oh, yeah, by Foxy Brown. Okay. Okay. 
Not um, the queen of rap, though, but Foxy. Um, excuse you. Foxy Noxy. <laughs> <laughs> My, the queen of rap was the last jam of the What's week. What's her name? And the week before at that, too. Um, <laughs> Girl. Any last Next. thoughts? <laughs> um, I have something to say. Yes. Um, I did leave a message. I did call the number, leave a message. Thank you. But I, um, I want to say that thank you guys for existing. Like, this is oh. something that is beautiful. Thanks. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for this. Yeah. We're coming to a TV This near is you. nice. Like, it is really like, I don't want to say we need more of this because y'all need to be okay, it. Okay, we it. But That's sh- it. she's nice. This yeah. is really nice. Thank you for existing. Thank you for making this platform. Thank you for just talking. Thank you, and baby. Thank you for coming Love by, y'all. Tim. Thank you for being here. She's only a hop and a skip away. Yes. So well, she's going to try to pop up a little bit. Thank you for being sexy. Thank you for being a dark skin. <laughs> being chocolate. <laughs> being uh-huh. handsome. Oh Thank God. you for being my best friend. Yeah. Oh, 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 he always gets so sentimental at the end. I can't. I it's can't. a him moment. Go home. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm okay. going to put Aaron's T's out. But any last thoughts? Any, any? Oh, oh, I have one. Go ahead. Okay. She's loud. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. I'm sick and tired of you. We're going to have some, we're going to have some words after this. Okay. Um, I want everyone, if you haven't registered to vote yet, please register to vote. Yes, talk about please it. Vote. Um, it is important it is needed. You see all the shit we going through right now. Hey, yo, we got to get Cuomo out of here. Uh, September 13th is the first uh, vote. Is it 13th or 16th? Google that if you're in New York. Mm-hmm. My bad. Google your polling place, your polling station, your registering Come dates in your Come state. Yeah. Um, make sure you vote. I'm going to be pushing this every day, oh, wait. every show until November. This bitch, I don't know what the fuck she doing. Girl, send her um, home. Get her an Uber. Girl, somebody bye. just take her home and get her some water. Get her Uber. Um, get some milk. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need everybody to register to vote. Milk. I don't care. Uh, I do care who you vote for, but we, I'm going to let you keep that a secret. No, yeah. Um, But I'm going to need y'all to register no matter what. Um, And vote. So that's all I have to say. I also want to say, you know, girls, get tested. Yeah, I just want to say that. Yes. Um, get tested. Yeah, that's all I want to say. <laughs> okay. And like we say, every, fun, every motherfucking Wednesday. Okay. Lord, so, I didn't even know what the fuck. What what you right? you <laughs> the one set it up? Girl, you cut- <laughs> Girl. Wait, hold on. Let me try that again. Her like I always say, y'all can catch us every motherfucking Wednesday. Every motherfucking Wednesday. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like a whole course, and I'm living for Eric it. Eric got his time. life off of it. Oh, she came out. <laughs> Come on out. Aaron, I told you it's fun. Look. Um, and we love y'all. Thank y'all. And catch us every Wednesday at midnight. Bye, baby. Yeah. Love y'all. Bye. Hey, yo, Smalls, turn up on the breath. Stand over the